Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. On today's video, we have something filthy for you guys. Check this out. We have this awesome looking Porsche. Unfortunately, the paint isn't looking so hot. You know, the, the owner of this vehicle, he had it parked near a construction site. He had it parked there for a couple of weeks. You know, he got back from vacation and check it out. This was the result. So you guys see this thing is covered in dirt grime dust industrial fallout and check that out guys if you guys can't see he also had a ton of oil stains that's right we don't know what happened here all we know is that there's oil on this car and it's been sitting there for a couple weeks maybe a couple months who knows so today we're going to be showing you guys how to give this porsche a nice deep clean from a to z and get this porsche looking to as great as new All right, guys, so before we go ahead and clean up all these oil stains and all that dirt and grime that I know is bugging you by looking at this Porsche, we're going to start off by cleaning the wheels because those wheels are equally as dirty as the paint. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're right here with the wheels. And if you guys take a close look, these wheels are equally as dirty as the actual paint of the Porsche. You guys see a lot of brake dust, a lot of grime. You can actually see that some of that oil that landed on the paint is actually in the barrel of the wheel. So we want to make sure that we clean that up because these do have a semi-gloss finish. So we definitely don't want these wheels to get stained. We want to make sure that these wheels look as great as possible. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a light pre-rinse. And as you guys know, we always pre-rinse the areas that we're going to work on because we want to make sure that we knock off as much loose dirt and debris as we can. All right guys, so now that we've gave it a nice little rinse, now we're gonna begin with the cleaning. Sticky Citrus is a citrus-based wheel cleaning gel. So it's gonna use the powers of citrus to go ahead and break down the brake dust and grime and any kind of things that are on the surface of the wheel. And it also uses a gel viscosity. So when you go ahead and agitate it with the brush, it foams up and it generates those cleaning suds that emulsify any kind of fine brake dust to pick it up off the surface so that you're not scratching it up with your brushes. And the reason it's called sticky citrus is because it clings onto the surface. So when you spray directly onto the wheel, even with the wheel already having some water on there, it sticks to the surface and it doesn't roll off. Now to begin this cleaning process, I'm gonna start off with the tires. So I'm gonna grab my nifty bristle brush here. Now I like using the nifty brush because it has a nice hard bristle uh, texture. So this texture works out amazing at ag agitating all the dirt and grime that's sitting on the tire and any kind of previous dressings. So if I wanna make sure that my tire dressing lasts as longest, I have to make sure that those tires are nice and clean. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some sticky citrus wheel cleaner gel, spray directly onto my brush for added cleaning power, set that down, and then continue with scrubbing the tire. As you guys can see right there, it begins to foam up and that works out great because that's gonna help us emulsify all the dirt and grime that's embedded onto the finish of the tire, ensuring that there's no grime left behind so that when we apply our dressing, we have a proper bond. The other reason I use this brush is because, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this brush is pretty thin and so are these tires. So, you know, this helps me out so I have more control over the brush. So it's not getting over the paint, it's not getting onto the wheel. It's, it's the right amount of brush to go ahead and clean this tire. All right, so now that the tire is clean, now we can go ahead and grab our brushes to clean the barrel. I begin cleaning the barrel first because I want to make sure I clean the dirtiest parts of the wheel first. So I'm going to be using our wheel packer rim brushes and I got some Diablo wheel gel in there. That's completely fine. I ended up adding some Diablo wheel gel into the bucket because I want to go ahead and get that extra cleaning suds and cleaning power. So I do have some Diablo in there. I know you guys can't really tell, but if I grab my stubby here and I activate those suds, check it out. It foams right up and I can use that as added cleaning power and lubricity so that I don't scratch the finish of my wheels. I'm using the rim pack of brushes. I'm using the curved one to go ahead and get into the barrel because this wheel has a pretty large opening which is gonna allow me to easily get this brush in there and give it a deep clean. The bristles on this brush, they're extremely soft. They're a nice wool material, so they definitely do a great job at you know, preventing scratches and swirls whilst also giving you that nice deep level of clean. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna dunk it into my bucket here get some nice cleaning suds and then begin with cleaning the barrel. And the cool thing about this brush is that it's curved. So I don't have to go ahead and like get straight into there. I can easily just rely on that curve, the curvature of the brush to allow me to deeply get into this wheel. 
and you want to make sure to clean the barrel just because you know these are one of the biggest things when it comes down to you know detailing you know these fine details the barrel of your wheel this is one of the biggest parts of your wheel and you want to make sure that that looks clean because when that's clean trust me guys it makes a huge difference on the look of your wheel you know no one likes having a clean face of the wheel and then having to look deep further in and it's all you know brown and nasty Alrighty guys, so now that that's cleaned up, I'm going to focus on the spokes now. Now the, the other brush I'm going to be using is also a part of our rim pack of wheel brushes, but this one happens to be straight. Now the reason I like using this brush is because it's straight, which allows me to go ahead and get nice and even into all these spokes. And I have more of a direct kind of uh, approach to get into all these spokes, all these curves, so I get a nice deep clean. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and dunk my rim pack of brush into my bucket here with water and the Diablo wheel gel. Get some nice cleaning suds on there and then just for added cleaning power i'm going to add some sick, uh, sticky citrus wheel gel onto my brush and then i'm going to continue with cleaning the spokes right here So now that I finished cleaning in between the spokes, the only thing that I have left to clean is those fine details. Now I'm using one of our All in the Details exterior brush set. Now this brush set works out great because it has three different sizes. You have your big one, your medium one, and your small one. I personally like using the medium size one because it works out great for a variety of surfaces when it comes down to cleaning the exterior vehicle and cleaning intricate wheels like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my sticky citrus wheel gel and I'm going to spray directly into my brush. And the reason I like doing this is because when I go to the lug nut area, it's going to go ahead and foam up. So you guys check that out right there. It foams up nicely so that I get that nice deep cleaning because you do get a lot of brake dust that kind of gets into that little area. And it's kind of hard to get in there with a bigger brush. So using a brush like this works out amazing to make sure that you get all the fine details of your wheels. You can also get the logo right there. You can also get these little lip right here. This Porsche does kind of have like a little lip on this wheel. So I want to make sure that everything is nice and deep clean. And then you can also cover the brake caliper with this. So you can go ahead and get deep into the brake caliper. You know, this Porsche has some beautiful looking brakes. So we want to make sure that those are cleaned as well. You know, not just your wheels, but all the details about your wheels. So your brake caliper, you know, the rotor, all that stuff. So now that I'm done cleaning the wheel, now all I have left to do is just give it a rinse. So I'm gonna turn on the pressure washer, give it a deep rinse to make sure that all this stuff is knocked off the wheel, and I'll be right back with you guys. All right guys, so we just finished cleaning up the wheels on the Porsche, and now it's time to get into the juicy stuff and detail the exterior of this Porsche. Now you guys see all the oil and dirt and grime. I know it's probably been bugging you guys looking at it when I was cleaning the wheels, but don't worry, we're finally gonna clean it up. So today, the first thing that we're gonna do is we have our two bucket methods set up right here. I have my two dirt traps, which I'm gonna go ahead and set down at the bottom of my buckets because I wanna make sure that we get a scratch-free wash. You know, with a beautiful car like this, one of the easiest ways to prevent scratches is by using the two bucket method along with two dirt traps. So with that being said, I'm gonna set up my foam cannon. We have our brand new Big Mouth Max Release Foam Cannon here. I'm using this because I wanna get a nice, thick, thick, rich layer of suds going on on this Porsche. So I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna grab our citrus washing gloss. I'm using citrus washing gloss because I want that citrus strength. So just like we needed that strength for the wheels, we're gonna go ahead and utilize that same citrus powered strength for the paint. So what you wanna do with citrus washing gloss is the first thing you wanna make sure to shake it up. You wanna shake it up because it contains synthetic gloss enhancers. So give it a nice good shake. Make sure that that product mixes in well together and you'll know when it's mixed in together because it'll kind of turn into like a lighter kind of green as opposed to like a neon green. So once that's all shaken up, we're gonna apply about one to two ounces. I think I'm gonna go with the two ounce just because, you know, I don't know how bad this oil is, you know, stained onto the paint. So I wanna make sure that I get a nice deep cleaning. So I'm gonna put two ounces and that's pretty much equivalent to about two good squirts. One, two. So we go ahead and put that in there. We put our nozzle back on, make sure to twist it closed. And then you want to stir it up inside your foam cannon canister. You don't want to shake it up because you don't want it to foam inside. So now that that's all set up, we are ready. Actually, I lied. I got to put some soap into my buckets. So I'm going to grab some citrus washing gloss and I'm going to put an ounce into my soap bucket. The bucket that I'm going to dedicate as my soap bucket is going to be the one with the green dirt trap. So I'm going to put about an ounce and we're ready to go. 
So the first thing that I want to do before we start cleaning is we're going to have to give it a pre-rinse. I'm going to turn on the pressure washer, give it a light pre-rinse, and then we're going to begin with the foaming process. All right, so I just finished foaming up the Porsche. I don't know if you guys saw, but that foam canner laid down some serious thick, rich suds. So now what we have to do is wipe it down. Now I need a hand to get this done. So I'm gonna be using our Stranger Handy Wash Mitt here. Now this wash mitt is great because it fits right like a glove. So you can go ahead and put your whole five fingers into it, get all the cleaning power of all your five fingers, and it's a nice, soft, double-sided microfiber material. So you can use this to easily conform to a lot of curves. You know, this Porsche, it's, you know, it's known for its curves. I don't know if you guys know, but we're gonna be using this to give it a nice deep clean and ensure that we get a nice smooth clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my wash mitt into my soap bucket here, grab some nice thick ridge suds, and then I'm gonna go to the car. And as always, whenever we clean our car, we wanna make sure that we're working in straight motions. So we just wanna make sure that, you know, we don't install any kind of scratches or swirls. And one great way to doing that is by, you know, preventing yourself from doing that circular motion. Because what ends up happening is you get like a little rock, a little piece of grime, whatever it may be on your wash mitt, you start doing that circular motion. Guess what? That's pretty much a swirl mark that's causing onto your paint. So you wanna make sure to stay away from that circular motion. Once you get a nice little area done, you wanna come back to your, your rinse bucket. Now your rinse bucket, you wanna make sure that you knock off any kind of debris that's on there. Seeing to this Porsche how filthy it is, I'm gonna be repeating this step often because I wanna ensure that I achieve the best scratch-free wash that I possibly can. So once I do that, I just pretty much rub my wash mitt towards the bottom where the dirt trap is at, wring it out, pull it out, and I got myself a nice clean wash mitt. Now I can go back to my soap bucket here, grab some more cleaning suds, and continue with cleaning the rest of the Porsche. So I'm gonna clean up the rest of the Porsche, and we'll be right back with you guys once it's nice and deep clean, and then we'll give it a nice quick rinse. All right guys, and there you guys have it. So one thing I do wanna kinda bring up is when I was wiping down the car with the wash mitt, I did have to bring on the big guns, had to bring AJ into the video cause that stuff was pretty stuck on there. But luckily that foam cannon with the citrus washing gloss did an amazing job at loosening up all that oil that was on the surface, making it a lot more easier to wipe off. I did have to kind of wipe it just a little bit more than usual, but as you guys can see, it knocked that stuff right off. I didn't have to use any kind of aggressive cleaners or anything like that, and it worked out phenomenal at getting this Porsche looking to as good as new. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my Woolly Mammoth. That's right, my Woolly Mammoth huge drying towel. I'm gonna dry up the Porsche, and I'm gonna show you guys these final results. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you guys wanna see us do anything else with this Porsche, make sure to leave it in the comment section down below and we can get all those videos that you guys want to see out to you. As always, my name is Joey, this is Chemical Guys Detail Garage, and I'll see you guys next time.
Wow. I'm loving the shine. 